when I was young, when I was like, like five, six, uh, I, I opened the curtains and outside the window there was a monster, big hairy monster. <laughs> and did they, did like you tell you to do anything? No, I mean I used to get scared, scared a lot. Was your cousin an influence on you? Yes, I look up to him. Because when you're at that age, you know, superheroes, war heroes are like in comic books, TV. This f***ing with vicious, mean, strong, you know. I didn't mind seeing all that gore and violence. It was a turn up. It was exciting. He used to say, there's no thrill like a good kill. <laughs> and uh, feast on bones. It was a sunny day. I had been with Mike that day, hanging out. And uh, he got to his house about 3 PM. He went and got the gun from the chop of the refrigerator and got close to her and blew her head off. Right here. Where she saw everything. It, it struck me that she was dead, you know, because I knew her pretty good. Death had a very profound effect on me when I saw it. I can still remember going to the, the Capri Theater in El Paso. It was in downtown, and I used to go alone. See, some people go to the theaters to get scared, you know? And they leave them there. I took it home with me. I came to California, and I came here to live. And I came looking for a pot of gold, but I found a pot of iron instead. He didn't have a job. And people were telling me that he was going through the garbage cans and eating. I go, no way. No way. He, he, we wouldn't do that. I found out that it was true. I'd like to know your feelings about uh, what they call the devil's dandruff, cocaine. I love it. <laughs> Satan is a stabilizing force in my life. It gives me a reason to be an excuse to rationalize. You know, when I was when I was on the street, I I was a loner. I I stayed to myself. I really had no contact with people. You know, I didn't think about other people's feelings and needs. I used to love, you know, doing burglary so much, right? I still dream about this. You dream about it now? Yeah, excitement. Serial killers and killers have the advantage in that they use the element of surprise, and darkness, and such things as this. And serial killers and, and most killers in general have a dead conscience. No morals, no scruples. Some of them don't even care whether they live or die themselves. And uh, they are just walking dead. A serial killer is caught up in a, in a frenzy. And and, uh, and uh, by the time it's over and done with, you'll reflect back on it and wish it had lasted longer. The guy came at me with a, a piece of iron bar, and he hit me once over the head. I turned around, and he swung it again, and he hit me on the wrist. They risk their own selves to go after him. They did not know whether he had a weapon. They were heroes. And at that point, I couldn't run anymore. I sat down to take a breather, and I saw a sheriff's patrol car coming down the street, and I knew that, you know, my life was over. 